Hi guys and girls. Um, I haven't done a few videos and I mean I haven't done you know I did a video the other day but um, I just wanted to share with you. It's been kind of a rough um, last couple few days. My doggy which is right there. My sweet girl Haley. Um, she's been very ill. She's 14 and a half. And um, she started not eating her food and not drinking any water. And I know from having animals my entire life that that's not a good sign. And not only did she do that, she started stumbling and like just her legs just going out from underneath her um, on the tile in the bathroom or in the kitchen or whatever and so it's been a really rough few days of just sobbing and telling her I love her and um, I don't think she's in pain and that's a good thing so it makes it easier for me because I don't tolerate um, animals being in pain I can't tolerate animals being sick it, it makes me literally sick and right now I have a migraine from stress and um, so there's a lot of stuff going on right now in my life but the, the main thing that's you know concerns me and this is I want to make sure my dog's okay and I've made peace I think <sighs> that if it's her time she'll know when it's her time and I told her like I told my grandmother um, a couple years ago before she passed it's okay it's okay when when the time is right it's okay to um, to go give her permission and I know we're not supposed to worry or be so attached to this um, dimension or frequency or whatever but man it is hard I know it's just an avatar and we're not really here and the soul and the spirit um, are in us or we're in it it's not it's not just in us we're so much more than just these avatars that are living on this place in this place in this matrix and but you know what it feels real and every time she falls or she's laying there practically lifeless it kills me and she's a dog but she's my family you know some people are like well it's just a dog she's not just a dog she's my freaking child like I have two grown kids and they've you know we got we got Haley when she was uh, eight weeks old I've had this baby for 14 and a half years so she's another child my kids were little young when we got her and I don't know it's just difficult and I just wanted to share you know what was going on and um, kind of have you have a peek into my my life because I don't I don't edit these videos and I don't um, I don't try to hide much you know of course everybody has their own private private life but I just wanted you to have a glimpse into like what was going on right now and yes I'm makeup free I have nothing on and it's okay I don't I don't care this is me after um, two three days of just crying and not sleeping and I'm sorry being up for most of the night because she would wake up like every hour and um, just want to come out and lay in the freezing cold and I would be like you no know, I'd take her out to see if she had to potty which she's been going to the bathroom which is a good sign um, and then she did drink this morning I was I got a syringe not a syringe I got a little yeah a little um dropper for my C60 that I take and I put some water in it and I put some Himalayan um, sea salt in the water and I put some silver silver water into the water and I put um, some crystal energy it's called and it's by um, Patrick Flanagan it makes you super hydrated so I put a bunch of that in and you know 
and then I was, I got some of the dropper full and kind of, you know, forced her to drink a little. And she drank about three droppers and I was happy. And then I offered her some turkey. She didn't want that. Excuse me. You know, and just basically offering her anything that she'll practice, you know, anything that she would have an interest in eating. And um, she didn't want that. And like I said, she hasn't eaten in a couple days. And I kind of feel, I don't kind of, I feel guilty because, you know, the other night here in Palm Bay, Florida, it started to pour and it was really cold. And, you know, Haley's been, all of a sudden she started walking around um, the circle that we walk, my mother-in-law's dog. And so I was so excited. So the other night it was kind of raining and I kind of pushed her. I was like, come on, let's go, you know. And she was soaked by the time we got back. And she is very lean. She's very thin because she has pancreatitis. And I'm supposed to be giving her low-fat, low-fiber diet. So when you do that, you turn to skin and bones. I wish I could eat like that. But anyway, um, you know, when she got back, she, we were all soaked. But I put a towel around her. And, and I know that getting wet doesn't make you ill. But, you know, if she was chilled and lowered her... Um, immune system that's different but I wrapped her in a towel and dried her off I put her under a um, blanket you know and she was nice and warm so but I still feel guilty I was like maybe that's what I you know what caused it so I always revert back to myself and blame myself I'm very hard on myself um, I always have been because I'm the type of person I'm kind of I found out I'm an INFJ it's a specific personality in the um I think it's called Myers-Briggs personality test. And um, although it's really unique, you know, there's only like 1% or 2% of my type of personality in the world. It makes me kind of odd. And I'm not a perfectionist, but I put myself up there. Like, I see potential um, hazards or accidents. I've done that with my kids when they were little. If I saw something that was a potential, I would, you know, change it. Like, I'm sitting in this chair right now, and it goes back, and I won't... I won't go back in it because Haley's back there because it could break. You know, if it could happen, why not prevent it? Anyway, I'm throwing a lot of stuff out today because, you know, I'm just talking off the cuff and just sharing my life. And I know that um, if I can help someone else who's going through this difficult time with their pet and their loved one and their family member, you know, we all have souls. All animals and people have souls. And... I believe. I'm not sure about every person because, you know, from what I've heard or read or studied or researched, you know, they say that some animals and some humans don't have souls, that they're actually just part of the matrix. And I don't know. I'm just going to, you know, think that everybody has a soul that I meet. Um, but anyway, I'm very hard on myself and I would blame myself if anything happened to the dog, had it, you know, for, for me, even if she gets, like, stepped on or something hit the house when there's, you know, people around, I get mad because, not really at them, but I get mad at myself. Like, I should have moved her out of the way. So every time, you know, there's a bunch of people in, I'll, like, put her over on the side of the wall by me to protect her because that's what I'm supposed to do. I'm her mom. And she's 14 and a half, and she's been in great, great shape. Um... She chases the laser pointer like a cat in the house. She loves that. It's like her favorite thing. Um, and she also has this big BMO frisbee. It's not a frisbee, but it's, you know, a frisbee shape, but it's real big and soft. And it's called a BMO. And I really want to get her another one if she uh, comes pulls out of this because she loves playing. She doesn't catch it, but she chases it. And um, sometimes she plays monkey in the middle if I'm playing with someone else with her. And, um... She loves it, and I love making her happy, and, um, uh, so, anyway, I just wanted to share a little of my, uh, little peek, it, peek into my life and let you know what was going on with me and why I haven't really been, uh, videoing much, but I did finish my book, and I was trying to get it on Create Space, but turns out I need to have 25 pages, like, you know, when you open up a book and there's one and two and you turn the page. Well, I have, I had like 23 pages, but just 23 pages, which is probably more like 12. 
So I need to try, I'm going to try to, um, instead of changing my whole book and making it longer just so I can upload it to Create Space. Where? Nope. Thank you. Is that a Rottweiler? Thank you. Great. There's a loose Rottweiler. Oh my goodness. And see, this is why. A potential now, see? There's a loose rot running around, and I'm going to get my dog because this little darling right here, I would die for because she's my baby, and um, I couldn't think about doing anything else. I would react and, like, protect my dog. Um, anyway, I'm probably going to have to cut this short if that dog comes this way, but... um. Wow, I haven't seen a loose dog around here in a while. But see, like I'm just talking about potential hazards and bang, you know, there's a, a loose rot or whatever it is running around. That's crazy. <sighs> so anyway, um, probably can't even see me now, but if you could see me now. Sorry. Okay, there I am. Anyway, um, yeah, so just wanted to share. And I do these videos to hopefully touch one person at least um, with each video so if you like this video please please click the like button and um, comment if you like I'd love to hear some feedback from you guys um, I appreciate every one of you who watch these videos and the subscribers I'm, I'm building I have 27 that's my lucky number and hopefully I'll have like you know, 27,000 <laughs> in the next year or so. I don't know. The only reason I want to build that up too is so I can monetize it and it would um, help my income quite a bit because, yeah, I don't focus too much on um, monetary stuff, but in this 3D matrix, we still have to have it to survive, unfortunately. So unless I live on a room and board farm, I gotta have the green stuff or, you know, virtual, the the blockchain stuff I actually started to invest a little bit haven't had much to invest but um, I invested in Bitcoin and then it hit you know went way low I was I think it was about 19,000 and I invested like 40 bucks and then it went down to like 12 or something I was like figures but um Ethereum and Litecoin I've been um, I invested a little tiny bit in I think and now there's Bitcoin Cash, so I'm slowly learning about that, and it's really exciting because I like it, and I'm interested in that. Um, yeah, so I was saying that um, I uploaded my book. I was trying to upload it to Create Space. so instead of me having to add and completely change my book, which I don't want to, my children's book called um, The Veggie Farm, it's about not eating animals, not killing animals, because we're all, they're all special and loved and they should be treated like family and we shouldn't eat them it's my my preference it's what I believe in um, anyway I'm gonna met I'm gonna like find some um, children's publishing companies and see if I can possibly upload my book to them if they will publish it and if not I guess I'll have to go back to the drawing board and change my book and make it a little bit longer probably like twice as long <laughs> so um, so please share and like, and um, I have a Patreon channel uh, page as well. If you, um, I'm trying to add to that, and um, if you do subscribe to my Patreon, I will um, give you a little more substance into my life and what I'm doing because I'm doing a whole bunch of stuff. My husband's making a movie. Um, it's called um, Horror Horror Scope, and um, it's going to be a great movie. And we also have Hollywood and Vine out um, for rent. I believe it's supposed to be on Amazon, but I don't know if it's up and ready yet. But it should be on Amazon Prime soon. And there's a whole bunch of other um, platforms it's going to be on. It's called Hollywood and Vine by Ronald Farnham, and I was a part of that too. And um, you know, we just have all kinds of stuff going on. So I just wanted to share with you and um, say have a wonderful Sunday and take care and please subscribe and share with your social media your friends, family because I want to get the word out to people who might need 
to reach out to someone, you know, and even if it's to me and I'm on, you know, the, the YouTube channel, I want everybody to know that you're not alone because there's a lot of lonely people and I've been there. I, you know, I feel alone sometimes and you have to know that your higher self is looking out for you and you're never alone. You have angels, spirit guides, um, you are God. God is in you. We're not just, you know, these people, these avatars that just die and that's it. I don't believe. But you, you know, you believe what you um, feel and resonate with. But I know, I know, and I've had too much truth, too much confirmation to not believe in something bigger than myself, for sure. All right, I love you all, and thank you for everything, and um, peace, and uh, if you could say a prayer for my baby, I appreciate it. You know, not just a prayer, but um, if you could picture white, bright white light around her that's healing light, I really appreciate it, and just put in a positive word for my Haley that she gets better. Um, I would rather her get better than just pass away, because think it's her time yet although I've tried to make peace with it if it is I just don't want her to suffer or be poked and prodded so um anyway thank you thanks again for um subscribing and have a great week this week and uh smile at somebody make somebody's day just by saying hi and um that's all all right bye